is a brief overview of mercantilism. I'll be presenting this using a mind map. The definition is a theory. The purposes of theory include regulation of the economy for the benefit of the state, particularly the power of the state in its rivalry with other states. Population should be large to supply labor, markets, and soldiers for conflicts with other states. Precious metals are seen as indispensable to the economy. They should be obtained by mining, preferably, or trade if necessary. Colonization, a balance of trade, creates interdependence between the colony and the other country. The colony supplies raw materials in the primary sector of industry and a demand for manufactured goods in the secondary sector of industry provided by the mother country. Colonies are prohibited from manufacturing. Promote thrift. They will avoid wants using some three laws banning luxuries such as food and certain drugs. The origin goes back to Thomas Munn, an economist, who lived from 1571 to 1641. The Depression of 1620 was blamed on the East India Company for exporting bullion to India in trade. He wrote a book called Discourse of Trade in 1621, saying that the balance of trade, not the export of metals, is what matters. Jean-Baptiste Colbert of France and Antonio Serra of Italy arrived at similar conclusions or seen as the father of mercantilism in their country. The Trade and Navigation Acts were laws to promote the mercantile ideals. There's a conflict in mercantilism with winners in the mother country, the merchants and industrialists. The losers are the colonists, particularly the farmers. However, there are consolation prizes for them. They are guaranteed access to markets and a global trade network with shipping. They're given credit terms by bankers and marketing access through merchants. Slavery is a part of mercantilism. It's used to grow sugar cane in the West Indies as a cash crop. These slaves are fed by New England and their cod fisheries.